Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this lesson, I have another epic game mechanic for you. Now lately I've been replaying through Zelda Breath of the Wild, and if you're familiar with the game, you've probably seen those ball puzzles, or Link has to put a special ball in a socket in order to complete the puzzle. And so for this lesson, we're going to replicate that game mechanic. Now if you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed to our channel, and if you'd like to gain access to all the source code for these tutorials, make sure that you sign up to become a supporter on our website at www.infogamerhub.com. Now on with the lesson. Now the first thing I'd like to do is demo this game mechanic. Alright, so here I have a ball that has a basic movement script attached to it, so I can move it with WASD, and then I have a platform with a hole in it. And so when I roll the ball up the platform, and into the hole, you can see that we receive a message in our console window that says goal. And the best part about this game mechanic is that the platform is using a unity event, which allows us to assign any function to this event so that it behaves like the on click of a UI button. Now to create this game mechanic, you're going to need to have some sort of object that your ball can interact with. In this case, I've created a platform with a hole in it, just like in Breath of the Wild. To create the platform, I used Blender and I just started with a cylinder that I squashed down and scaled in the top. I then created a sphere and used the boolean modifier to combine the platform and the sphere to make the hole. Once we have the platform created and saved into our Unity project, we can add it to our scene. And the first component that we need to add is a mesh collider. We'll then set the mesh option to the mesh of our model. This makes it so that our ball can interact with our platform and it'll leave and fall down in the hole. We then need to create a trigger zone that will sit down inside the hole. For this I've used a box collider that I've set is trigger to true. And if we look at our platform in the scene view and I click the edit collider button, you can see that it's just a small box that fits inside my platform and only covers less than half of the bottom of the hole. At this point we can then create a new script for this object which I've called Zelda Goal. When you have this script created, you can drag it onto this object and then we'll open it up. Inside this script, we need to add one namespace up at the top, which is using UnityEngine.Events, after which we can create two variables. The first is a serialized field of type game object, which I've called key. We'll set this variable in the inspector to be the object that we want the player to put in the hole. In this case, it'll be our ball. The next variable will be a public unity event, which I've called onUnlock. Next, we'll create a public void function, which I've called unlock event triggered. And inside this function, we'll call our unity event, so onUnlock, then dot invoke. Now we want to create an onTriggerEnter function for when the ball interacts with the trigger zone in the hole. So here I have that onTriggerEnter function. And inside this function, we want to check to see if the other object equals our key. And so I have if other dot game object equals key. We then want to call our unlock event triggered function. And lastly, I've created a little demo function. This is a public void function, which I've called test unlock. And inside this function, we have our debug dot log statement. Once we have all this, we can save our script and go back to Unity. Inside Unity, we first want to set our key variable, and I've set it to my ball object. We can then add an on unlock event, and I'll drag the same script into this field, and then use the drop down menu to select our Zelda goal script, and then test unlock. Now when you're actually using this game mechanic in a project, you'd probably have some other object in your scene that you would want this Unity event to trigger. In the case of Zelda Breath of the Wild, whenever you go into a shrine, there's often a locked gate before you get the spirit orbs. And so you could have one of those locked gates, which would have its own script with a function to unlock the gate. You could then drag the gate object into this on unlock event and set the function to be the unlock gate function. That would make it so that when the player puts the ball inside the hole, rather than just having a debug.log statement, you would have a door or a gate unlock. And so let's test this game mechanic one more time. So here I have my ball and my platform. I can roll the ball around. And when I take the ball up the platform and into the hole, you can see in the console, we have our goal message. Now that's everything that I'm going to show you how to create in this lesson on how to create a ball and socket puzzle mechanic as found in Breath of the Wild. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And please subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified whenever we publish new videos.